Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to create bins by using different techniques like a equal frequency partitioning, equal width partitioning and smoothing by bins. To find the bins by using these frequencies, we will take one simple example. In this, we have 12 sale price records. These are the data points. We need to partition them into three bins by each of the following method. Those are equal frequency, equal width and smoothing by bins. So whenever we are trying to use these techniques, we need to sort the given data in the ascending order. But if you observe carefully, the given data is already in the ascending order. So there is no need to rearrange it. If you count the number of data points, we will get the 12 records. And here we need to create three bins. So first I will consider the equal frequency partitioning method. In the equal frequency partitioning method, each bin should have the same number of elements. Now the question is how to find the elements. So we can find the elements by using this formula that is total number of data points divided by total number of bins. Here total number of data points are 12 and total number of bins are 3. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4. It means each bin contains 4 data points. So, bin 1 contains first 4 data points and bin 2 contains 15, 35, 50 and 55 as the data points and third bin contains last 4 data points. So, this is the bin by using equal frequency partitioning. Next, we will go for equal width partitioning. In an equal width partitioning, the range of each bin is equal. Now, we need to find the range. How we can find the range? So, range is equal to maximum value minus minimum value divided by 3. So, that is the total number of bins. So, here the maximum value is 215 and minimum value is 5. So, 215 minus 5 divided by 3 which is equal to 70. So, first we need to find the boundaries for each bin. For the first bin, boundary will start from minimum value that is 5 and the highest boundary is 5 plus 70 that is 75. In the first bin, we will include the lowest value that is 5 but we will exclude the 75. And for the second bin, the boundary starts from 75 plus 70 that is 145 and for the third bin 145 plus 70 that is 215. So, in the third bin we will consider the upper limit that is 215. So, we found the boundaries for each bin. Now, we will calculate the values present in each bin. So, for the first bin the values are between 5 and 75. So, here we will get the values from 5 to 72. All these values are within the limit. So, second bin value is 92 because the second bin boundaries are uh, 75 and 145. And the third bin range is 145 to 250. So, the values for third bin is 204 and 215. So, this is how we can calculate the bins by using equal width partitioning. Next, we will go for smoothing techniques. Uh, the smoothing by beans to equal frequency beans. Smoothing by beans means uh, here we need to apply these techniques to already created or generated beans. Here we are applying this technique to equal frequency beans. So, here we have already calculated three beans. For these three beans, we need to apply the smoothing by beans technique. So, in the smoothing by techniques, what is happening? Um, here we will replacing values in each bin with a representative values like mean, median or boundaries. So, first we will calculate the mean for each bin. Uh, for the first bin, the mean is nothing but the sum of the data point present in each bin divided by total number of data points. So, here we need to add all these data points and we need to divide it by 4 which is equal to 9.75. And for the second bin, the mean is 38.75 and for the third bin, the mean is 145.75.
So we found the mean. Now we will find the smoothed mean. Smoothed mean is nothing but we need to replace all the data points with a respective mean value. So for the first mean, the value will be replaced by 9.75, and for the second mean, all the data points are replaced with the value 38.75, and for the third mean, all the data points are replaced by the mean value that is 145.75. So next we will go for the median calculation. So for the median calculation, what we need to do? Uh, if the bin containing odd number of data points, uh, then the center uh, value will be the median. But here all the bins are containing even number of data points. So while calculating the median, we need to take two center points. We need to add these two values and we need to divide it by two. That is what you can see here. The center two points are ten and eleven, so we need to add these two values and divide it by two, which is equal to ten point five. And for the second bin, which is equal to forty two point five, and for the third bin, which is equal to one forty eight point zero. So here also we need to replace all the data points with the median values. Now we will got the smoothed bins by median. That is for the first bin, all the values are replaced with the ten point five, and for the second bin, forty two point five, and for the third bin, one forty eight. Now we will go for the boundaries calculation. So in the boundaries calculation, first we will consider the first bin. For the first bin, first we need to calculate the minimum and maximum values. Minimum value is five, and maximum value is thirteen. So here we need to replace the values with the nearer values. Uh, here first and last values we will not change. We will keep as it is. So five will become five and thirteen will become thirteen. So now we need to calculate whether ten is closer to five or thirteen. So if you subtract the ten and five, we will get a five as the answer. And if you subtract ten and thirteen, we will get answer as a three. So in between five and three, three is the minimum value. So it means that. 10 is closer to 13 so we will replace a 10 by 13 similarly for the 11 if you subtract 11 uh, minus 5 we will get a value as a 6 and 11 minus 13 as a 2 so 2 is a minimum value it means that 11 is closer to 13 so we will replace 11 by 13 so we will get the smoothed bin as 5 13 13 13 Similarly, we will consider the second bin. Here, the minimum is fifteen and maximum is fifty-five. So we will keep these two values as it is. Next, we will find the closer values for thirty-five and fifty. So as you see, thirty-five is closer to fifty-five. So we will replace thirty-five by fifty-five, and fifty uh, is also closer to fifty-five. So we will replace fifty by fifty-five, and we will keep fifty-five as a fifty-five. So we will get the smoothed bin to as fifteen, fifty-five, fifty-five, and fifty-five. Next, we will consider the third bin values. So here, the minimum value is seventy-two and maximum value is two hundred and fifteen. So if you observe carefully, ninety-two is closer to seventy-two. So we will replace ninety-two by seventy-two. And two hundred and four is closer to two hundred and fifteen, so we will replace two hundred and four by two hundred and fifteen, and we will keep two hundred and fifteen as it is. So we will get the smoothed bin as fifteen seventy two two hundred and fifteen and two hundred and fifteen. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.